I used to be a student in elementary school. The teacher would explain the lesson and punish those who didn't solve the exercises. I was always in the punished group. Sometimes the teacher would insult me and make my classmates laugh at me. The students would always make fun of me, and I felt embarrassed. But there was nothing I could do about it. One day, the teacher grabbed my hand and led me towards the principal's office, saying, This is the student I told you about. Come here, little one. Have a seat. I did as he asked and sat in the chair opposite the teacher. Tell me, do you understand your lessons well? Yes. If you have one plus one, what does it equal? I looked at him and didn't know the answer. All right, imagine you have a candy and I give you another one. How many candies will you have in your hand? Zero. How come? Because I'll eat them right away. All right, let's forget about this example. If we put an apple in this container and add another apple, how many will we have? I adjusted my glasses and said, three. I don't know how I came up with three, but I was convinced of my answer. The principal requested to present my case to the school committee for further consideration. On the day of the committee test, my parents accompanied me. They waited outside with my teacher while the principal and other teachers were inside the committee room. What's your name? Stella. Do you know how to count up to a hundred? Of course, zero, ten, nine, two, three. Don't you memorize them in order? I don't know. All right, memorize something for me. A poem, a song, or anything you can remember. I don't memorize anything. All right, you can go now and don't come back to school until you receive the committee's report. When I left the school with my parents, we passed by some boys playing ball. Just as we were walking by, one of the kids threw the ball with force and it hit me on the head. I stumbled and hit my head on the pavement and my glasses broke. I felt a strong headache and my dad took me to the hospital. The nurse treated my wound and said, it's okay, it's a minor surface injury. You gotta take her to an eye doctor to get her glasses renewed. I went straight from the hospital to the eye doctor. We need to do a new examination for your eyes. Read these letters to see if your vision has worsened or remained the same. She doesn't know all the letters. When I focused on the list of letters, my headache worsened. But I endured and started reading them one by one. That's good. You read all the letters correctly, unlike usual. That's strange. Her vision is perfect, a 10 out of 10. Even though her left eye was a 6 out of 10 and her right eye was an 8 before. So what do we do now? The doctor tried several tests and then said, Your vision is good, my daughter, and you don't need glasses anymore. When I arrived home, I headed to the kitchen to sit with my mom, and she said, I'm worried about you. I pray that the committee's report is good. Suddenly, my mom dropped a box of toothpicks. She bent down to pick them up. I looked at them and said, 36. What? There are 36 toothpicks. She smiled and said, I wish you were that smart. My headache is getting worse, Mom. She placed the box on the table and said, Go watch TV, and your headache will go away soon. I turned on the TV and found a competition show for the smartest child in the world. The host started asking questions to the participating children, and I answered quickly. Before them and every time, my answer was correct. My mom clapped and said, Wow, you're such a smart girl. You answered all the questions. You must be looking at your phone. No, not at all. I knew the answers on my own, but I feel a headache every time I want to answer. That's normal. The impact of the blow will linger a bit before disappearing. I continued answering the questions, and they became increasingly difficult. My mom was surprised and thought for a moment, then hurried towards the box of toothpicks and counted them again. She returned, puzzled, and said, Stella, how did you know the number of toothpicks? I was able to count them at a glance. It was simple. My mom went crazy and brought spoons, forks, and clothespins again, asking me to count them each time. I quickly gave her the correct number. She called my dad and said, Hey, Dad, there's something strange happening with our daughter. You need to come right away. I'm at school, waiting for the committee's report. I'll be there as soon as I receive it. When he returned, he looked sad. Tell us, she has been expelled and transferred to a special school for children with special needs. The girl has become very smart, and we should present her to the committee again. We all know that's not true. Since her birth, she has been dumb. Do you remember when she used to put the bottle in her mouth and couldn't figure out how to suck the milk? And do you remember that she didn't start talking until she was four years old? She's really dumb, 
and I don't know what her future will be like. I know everything you're saying, but that was in the past. Stella has become a completely different person today. I don't know if the ball hitting her head wiped away her stupidity, but I'll prove it to you. Mom started repeating all the calculations, and I succeeded every time. Dad was surprised, but he was very happy and started dancing with joy. We should present you to the committee again. Dad went back to the school and lodged a complaint. With his plea to the principal, he decided to give me another chance to meet the committee. Before the meeting, I went to the library. Every time I took a book, I could memorize what was on the pages with just one glance. When I attended the committee meeting, I impressed them with my answers and the extensive knowledge I had. The girl is a genius. We should not waste her talent in this school. The principal was surprised by my answers and said, You will be the top student in the school. But the committee chairman said, This genius girl will not stay here. The principal regretted losing me while I was transferred to the gifted school. And after just six years, I managed to invent a fruit-picking robot that can be controlled by farmers remotely. My parents were very proud, and I became well-known on TV shows. I was happy because I proved all those who used to bully me in the previous school wrong, calling me dumb. My friends, I don't know exactly what happened to me when the ball hit me, but I am certain that it was the reason for what I have become now. Don't bully those around you or those who are less capable than you. They might become better than you someday, and you will regret it in the end. And I wish you all the best in your life. Goodbye till the next story.